Hey guys, it's Ben, welcome back to episode 38, maybe, of your bucket tutorials. Um, and today we're going to be doing about sign teleportation, about when you right-click a sign, it's got a certain thing on it, it'll teleport you to, like, the spawn point of the map. Um, so yeah, first of all we want to make a, just a hash map, which is going to store where all the signs are in the world. Um, so, if we just do public final, it's not spelled public, public, public final hash map. Uh, so you're going to take two uh, object types, you're going to take the location and string, we're going to call this signs equals new hash map uh, location and string. The string is going to be the player's name, um, just the, so we know who can break in stuff. All that stuff. Um, so let's do at event handler. We're going to have to make three of these. Um, public void on sign change, sign change event event um at event hand oh it's nice spell event event handler um public void on block break block break block break event event and at event handler public void on player interact interact player interact event event uh, import everything and player interact event uh, so on sign change if the event dot get line so if the line of the if the, if the first line of the sign, so if you write event of get line zero, so if the first line uh, equals ignore case. So if it equals um, uh, to teleport, then what we want to do is we want to in the signs a uh, hash map we've just made, we want to put event dot get block dot get location so we want to put the location of the block and event dot get player dot get name as the um the value uh we, first one is key first one is the second one is value uh just so you know and then we want to do event dot get player dot send message uh teleportation to to spawn sign created like that um in the block break one uh we're just gonna get the player so player player equals event dot get player um so if signs dot contains key so the first one if if this hash map contains the location um event dot get block so if the block they're breaking is in signs uh, and exclamation mark signs dot contains value event dot get player or player dot is op exclamation mark at the front of that. So what that's saying is if the block they're breaking is a block inside of the strings hash map and if um, the signs hash map contains the value player, so the second one, actually player uh, dot get name. I just thought we need to do that because it's a string. Uh, or the player is an op, so we op overrides, uh, which we're going to do event dot set cancel true. So if they're none of these things and the event they're breaking is one in the hash map, it's going to say it cancelled. So they're not going to be able to break the box. So on player interact, player player equals event dot get player. This is quite a simple method. Uh, so if signs dot contains key event dot get clicked block dot get location, um, then we're just going to do player dot teleport to player dot get world dot get spawn location. So let's go through all of this. We're going to make a hash map which takes uh, location as its key and string as its uh, value. Uh, so when a sign is created or changed, uh, if the first line is teleport, then we're going to put in this hash map um, the location of the sign and the player who placed it, 
I'm going to say that teleportation is uncreated. On the block break, which is going to get the player who's broken the block, and if signs, which is this hash map over here that we've created, contains key, so it contains the location, uh, the block, oh, uh, contains key, get block, dot, get location, that could have been fatal, fatal I tell you, Fat fatal, tatality, <laughs> and um, the value doesn't contain a uh, player's name, or uh, if the player isn't an op, then it's going to set cancel true, so it's not going to break the block, uh, and get the player when they interact, and if signs contains the block, so if the block they're clicking on is inside this hash map, then we're just going to teleport them to the uh, spawn point. So we don't need to actually add anything into the plugin.yml for this. So let's just call it this, let's call it teleport station for signs and all that good stuff we do for YouTube people's dot jar. Why not? That's something I did before and the plugin didn't work so I had to sit here for about half an hour working out why it didn't work and I didn't put get location here. I just put get click. Never mind, you don't need to hear about my sadness so we are back in the game. Okay, so we're here. Down file minus oh that was weird. Okay anyway, um so this is the spawn point. It's somewhere around here. Um, so give bench three sign one. Um, so teleport. It says teleportation to sign spawn sign created. So if we we click on that, it's going to teleport us there. Um, and again, again, again. And we can click on the post. We can click on the the, the top of the sign. We can we can punch it. Um, so yeah, it's actually going to be quite difficult to destroy. So game mode one. Uh, so if we punch it, it destroys it. You see, and uh, it now if we punch this this block, the area where the block was, um, nothing's going to happen. So if we like, if we place a block on there and and um, destroy it, it's uh, it's still going to teleport us back because that's where uh, the block was. If you don't want this to happen, if you want when they destroy it to, you know, fully go over, uh, then we actually need to put an else statement here, and we want to do signs dot remove uh, event dot get block dot get location. So let's if we test this out, if we just go and re-export this, what we should find is that because we are the owner as you could call it of this um this sign um we we when we we get move on right so if we just get ourselves a sign so give bench three sign one if we place down sign and put teleport on it and then click on it and then if we we destroy the sign and we place another sign down and we click on it nothing will happen because we've unregistered we've unregistered the sign um, I can't actually show off the features with this whole we can't destroy thing but that that does work because I've tested it before um, because no one online is online for me at the moment which makes me uh, quite disappointed that's low frame rates um, but yeah thanks for watching uh, tell me what you want to see next in the description. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.